What's up y'all, it's me, it's your boy Asmongold, and today, as you can see, we're actually live, I'm actually playing, and there's my little mouse moving around, and I'm going to do something that you guys have been asking me for, and that's, I'm going to show, like, my add-ons and my UI and all that, uh, so we'll just get right down to it, I guess, um, this is going to be, as I said, it's live, and so I'll probably make, a quite a few fuck-ups, and so just be ready for that, um, so we're just, I'm just going to look at the add-ons and kind of just do a bigger list, um, NPC scan and NPC scan overlay. I use those to uh, basically just pay attention and like track rares that are around me. Uh, bigger bag, uh, that's for the achievement you're going to need a bigger bag and it just tracks what your progress is on the um, on the achievement and whenever you mouse over a monster it will tell you if that monster dropped something for the achievement and if you have it or not. It's just pretty nice. Uh, this is the most important add-on that I have which is Atlas Loot. And if I could choose between having any add-on in the entire game, it would probably be Atlas Loot. Then there's a bunch of other just like garbage in here, and so just kind of ignore some of that other stuff. Uh, Optionator, I don't really know how this works, but it's supposed to buy things on the auction house. I don't really use it a lot. Uh, bag on, that just kind of puts all my bags into one little uh, thing. Bar off, helper, uh, I guess I have that disabled, but that's what I had to um, target. What was her name? Uh, do the boss in school events where she splits apart into a bunch of different spots. Um, these are some pet battle things. Uh, big wigs, of course, I have that for the raw den assist. Blood shield tracker for my death knight. Dominoes, uh, those are my uh, my actual action bars. That's how I have them set up as to dominoes. DXC, I haven't updated this as you guys can see since uh, it looks like Dragon Soul. And so that's just kind of hanging out there. I still have gear score from Wrath of the Lich King. Uh, let's see, Malkrock Helper, uh, Mogget, uh, this is a transmog add-on, if you guys see me, like, mouse over any item, and you see it, like, come up, and, like, my, my dude's, like, naked, except for wearing this one item, uh, that's a functionality thing from Mogget, and so that's how that works, uh, Mountain of Mounts, uh, it's just, like, an achievement helper, as you guys can see, Pet Battle, these are all, uh, pet achievements here, Pet Tracker, Pet Journal, and I think I have Pet Theory, I don't, I forgot why I disabled that. Uh, Postal, I don't know how this works, so I just turned it off. Uh, Pratt, uh, that allows me to copy and paste um, different chat messages, and also it tells me the timestamps on them. Uh, I think right now there isn't any functionality for that. In uh, Words of Draenor Beta, they're actually going to add functionality in for different timestamps and stuff like that, but I still don't think that they'll have copy and paste, and Pratt also allows me to do some other things, and so I like to use this add-on for chat. Uh, quartz is for my casting bar. Uh, I've just had this since Burning Crusade, and I don't really have any idea any other uh, chat add-on, or sorry, not chat, uh, cast bar add-on, and so uh, I just have always used it, and so I mean, it works for me, and it's continued to work. Uh, rare spawn overlay, that's again something that I help with, that uh, helps with NPC scan. Uh, rare coordinator, this is just timeless aisle, and it tells me whenever some of them are up or somebody else targets them with this add-on on, and a lot of people have it. A real ID counter, this is just kind of a small little thing that I have here, and all it does is it counts your real ID friends and it tells you the number, and you can have up to 100 real ID friends, and so it's really useful for people who are, you know, social butterflies on the internet, like I am, or uh, just do a lot of um, like cross-realm raids just to know how many slots you have left, so in case you have people adding you, you make sure to have a, a, enough open slots for them. Uh, recount, this is actually, uh, excuse me, this is actually the most important add-on that I have. Uh, this shows me how much damage I'm doing, and that's like literally the only thing that matters. Uh, save queue, this removes the leave queue button for arenas and battlegrounds, pretty uh, self-explanatory. Uh, let's see, these are all things that I have no idea to use. Uh, Shaw Fear Assist, um, I don't know why I don't have that turned on, but I'm not really going to deal with that. A shield Barrier Tracker, I stopped using those. But uh, if you want, you can use that. I have a special, um, I have a weak aura, as you can see here, for shield barrier, and it works very, very well for me. And so uh, I don't really know how to really use weak auras. I just figured it out enough to use that one weak aura, and that's all I've ever used. And so I do apologize. So, I mean, I have no idea how it works. But if you watch me in any tanking videos, you'll probably see like a little bar come up, and that'll be my um, the weak aura that I have for the uh, shield barrier. Uh, vengeance status uh, just shows me how much vengeance I have. Uh, wow, it's the messenger. I turn that off. Uh, let's see, trade skill master. I don't know how to use that. Tweak wow, that helped me. Uh, I guess like show. I don't even know what did that even really fucking. God, I hate that thing. They're just. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and go into game, and I'm just gonna show you everything on the UI actually itself. 
And so uh, I guess you guys can kind of see that. And uh, it'll probably take a couple minutes. But yeah, I didn't really... Uh, I don't really know how to do like a UI video, you know what I mean? Like I was kind of confused. It's like, should I just show the UI or should I show, you know, the list? And I figured I'd kind of do both just so you guys can actually see the name of it. And so there'd be no confusion. Uh, I've had, as you guys see, I've, I like never really delete add-ons or anything like that, and so I've just got bunches from them. Like I've had add-ons in that in that little folder since 2000, like probably nine or 2010. Okay, so as soon as I log in, a lot of this stuff is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, this right here, uh, this is what I was saying about the uh, uh, respawn coordinator. This is just disappears only in Timeless Isle, and that's it. Uh, this battle pets thing, that's the functionality of one of my battle uh, battle pet add-ons. I actually have no idea which one it is. Uh, recount, this is pretty much obvious. Uh, apparently I killed an Emerald Gander, and uh, which Nerd Cloak did a lot of damage. And so uh, that's my recount. Uh, all the buttons here, these are dominoes. Uh, I have my webcam here, but if you guys have never seen Pratt, I would be very surprised. It's just, it's very standard chat add-on. Uh, let's see, oh, my real ID counter. Um, as you can see here, I have 95 out of 100, and so it shows me uh, shows me right there. And let's see what else is there. Oh, it's Atlas loot, which uh, I don't even know why I pulled that up. It's pretty uh, pretty obvious. And so uh, let me see if I can go ahead. Yeah, here it is. And you guys can see here. Here's like me summoning a mount, which is the same as casting anything else. As you can see, there's like little chat bar, or not chat bar. I said that again. Uh, there's a little uh, cast bar for it, and so it's pretty obvious. Um, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, I don't know how. Uh, I'm not really a big UI guy. Um, I took a screenshot of my UI killing Brutalis and Sunwell, and I took a screenshot of my UI killing Heroic Garrosh, and uh, they're pretty much the exact same thing. As soon as I actually went and made like a new UI with dominoes and everything, I've just always stuck with this since uh, pretty much the beginning of like my serious WoW uh, playing uh, career, I guess you could say, or time playing, whatever you, whatever you want to look at it. And so let's see, what else do we have here? I'm just trying to think before I end this video. And, uh, oh, there's the big wigs thing, but that all happens. Like, you guys know what that is. That's just a boss mod. That's not even a big deal. Uh, let's see, UI, let's see, Atlas suit, Auctioneer, bag on. Oh, bag on. And so anyway, uh, that just opens up your bags, and uh, you can also configure the functionality to work with guild banks and void storage. Uh, I found that it was kind of like buggy with the void storage, and so you might have to turn it off, and you can do that. Uh, as you guys can see uh, earlier, I did have only part of the bag on uh, add-on pack enabled. There it is, there it is, I'm going to kill it right now. <laughs> Fuck you. You're dead. Got him. Okay, uh, anyway, and it can also show you all the... Uh, all the gold that you have from all your characters put together. Um, I have it to where it doesn't do that. And by I have it, I mean it used to do that. And then it stopped. And I don't know why. I have no idea why. I don't know any of this. And so let's see. Dominoes, Malkarok Helper. That only appears on Malkarok. Oh, I'll show you the pet, the pet add-ons. Oh, and a respawn overlay or respawn overlay. And so obviously there's a bunch of little pictures everywhere. And uh, this kind of shows where all the um, all the rare spawns are, and I kind of know what each of them is anyway. And so you can go here, and it actually shows you right here like what the rare spawns are. You can move that around. No, you can't. Never mind. And so it'll show like you know like this green one here is the War Scout, and the darker one I guess is the uh, Warbringer. Uh, I think they're overlapped or something like that because they have two different add-ons. So it causes a little bit of confusion, but I kind of know where everything is anyway, and so it's not really too big of a deal. But uh, I think this is a very important add-on, especially if you're hunting for rares, and uh, it just really saves me a lot of time, like especially when leveling. Like if I'm going wrong here, I just take a little shortcut for a second, see if he's up, and if he's up, I kill him, and I get like you know 300,000 experience or something like that. And so it's a really nice thing to have uh, for my pet battles. Uh, I think I went over this in a pet video and so I'm not really going to go over it too much because most people don't like pet battles and uh, I actually think that they're pretty shitty myself but uh, anyway so you can make your own teams here as you can see here and I have different teams for each different uh, each different guy in the special tournament for like Little Undasta I have a team built up for that I have some PvP team uh, this team right here called Motherfuckers uh, this is a PvP team and it was really really good in 5.3 now the motherfuckers uh, get fucked more than they actually fuck other people. 
And so I've got to kind of redo that team. But uh, anyway, let's see, what else do we have here? Darkman Fair Cockboy, I think that's a little kid that plays the Darkman Fair. Uh, I'm just trying to look PvP Pet Team. That's not very interesting. It's a PvP Pet Team. Uh, let's see. I think that's pretty much it in terms of all those. I'm just going to do one more double check because a lot of people have asked me about this and so I don't want to have to do it twice. Uh, in terms of new add-ons, like I know a lot of people use all kinds of crazy add-ons and uh, honestly I'll probably do like some add-on overview things because I think that there are some really useful add-ons out there that I just don't have and I've never really felt the need for them but I figure maybe I should download them once and at least show you guys and uh, then decide for myself whether I'm going to keep them but that's kind of a uh, that's kind of an afterthought but uh, anyway uh, again uh, just as a overview I guess as I said before uh, my bar add-on is dominoes uh, my bag add-on is bag on uh, my damage meter is recount uh, my chat meter whenever I don't have my webcam on which is uh, very rarely but whenever I don't uh, is Pratt um, and my cast bar is as I said before quartz and uh, I think quartz is very nice because it also accounts for MS and it's you know just a, it, it's very helpful and uh, also it does a swing timer. I guess I should show that right before I finish the video. And uh, as you can see here, there's a swing timer right there. And so you can know exactly whenever you're going to hit. And uh, that's actually whenever I downloaded it is so I could uh, maximize my damage in between slams because that was like a big deal back in Sunwell uh, for Arms Warriors. You had to uh, really compete for that 17th spot on the DPS meter. And so anyway, I think that's actually pretty much it. I don't really want to drag on this video too much. And so uh, I hope this helped you guys, and I hope it answered a lot of questions. I get this uh, asked a lot. I'll probably also do a gaming setup video, um, maybe in like a week or so. I don't really know. Like I don't really want to have the, have it turn into Asmongold's Layer 5 or whatever whatever I'm on. And so I'll probably uh, clean up some of my desk and everything like that. And I've got like just garbage everywhere. And uh, so I just kind of want to clean that up, and then I'll show you guys pretty much what my setup is. Uh, don't get excited. It's not. It's nothing to be excited about. But uh, anyway, uh, that's pretty much it for the video. So thanks for watching and like, comment, subscribe.